Okay. Okay. It's time, my friends. <laughs> oh my god, here we go again. I'm standing up again because sitting uh, eventually kills you. Look it up. Let's talk about what's uh, what's talking about today. All right, so probably, but you already know. Let's just get into it, all right? Bandai sent me another surprise. So this has been killer. I've, I pretty much told some people, okay, I know, I'm sorry. I'm interrupting myself. Stop what you're doing right now. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Over 70% of you are not subscribed. Thank you very much for checking us out. But if you don't subscribe, you're missing out on other videos that we're going to be doing here on the channel. And that's, that's a shame. So do yourself a favor and subscribe. Hit that sub button uh, and that'll make me a happy boy. All right, that's it. Bye. Go back to the video. What was going to be in here? I'm pretty sure some of you are smart enough to have figured it out yet. But for those of you that have not figured it out, sorry for insulting your intelligence, but <laughs> we're going to talk about what's in here. So if you are not aware, your boy Xander, Xanadu, got the hookup, you know, me and Bandai, we got, we got, we're, we're in talks, all right? We talk. And so they have sent me a couple of the Wave 3 20th a few months ago, I believe actually last year, really. And that was a lot of fun. It was really cool. And then they hit me up again to do a couple interviews. You know, they sent me the Ava Tamagotchi and the Demon Slayer Tamagotchi, which we are actually, I just don't have. Yeah, I'm still playing with them, they're very fun. But we're gonna have to put those away now because now they're sending me something else. So if you haven't figured it out yet, they sent me some DMXs uh, or a DMX. I actually don't know how many are in here. So I did order some from Amazon, but those aren't here yet. And the ones that they are sending me, I don't know what color. I didn't, I don't like being, greedy not that i'm saying if you uh, asking for a specific color being greedy but i don't know i just I, I felt weird asking for a specific color or anything uh, i like the surprise we're both being surprised together if i know it's going to be you know whatever color i feel like that kind of takes away from the surprise and the, and the glitz and the glamour of it all i feel like it'd be a lot more fun if i have no idea what's in here i mean we know again it's already a, a dmx so there are four colors right now so well, first of all if you haven't seen the interview i highly recommend checking out that interview it was really informative and really cool cisco is an awesome guy the brand is in good hands with him i'm very happy with what he's been doing uh and he is also very knowledgeable so definitely check out that interview because a lot of the stuff that we're going to be talking about about the dmx is in that interview the dmx is or the Digimon X specifically? Let me not. Let me just try to you know break this down for all the newbies out there, which I know there's a lot of you. So let me break it down for you guys. This is the newest uh, American Digimon V Pet that is gonna come out. We're done with the 20th. We are now on to the Digimon X. The Digimon X One came out in Japan a couple years ago. Uh, most of you that have recently gotten into V Pets probably know about them because they're quite a bit expensive right now. So I'm, that's why I'm really happy that Bandai of America is releasing them in America. These are fully in English. These are only the X1s so far. So there are two colors of the X1. There is a red color and a blue color. Depending on what color X is on your device depends on what Digimon you're going to have. And we'll get into that once we open this box up. So let's open it up together and see what's in here. Gorgeous. So it looks like it's just, yes, okay. Wonderful. Wow, that is beautiful holy shit wow this is nice ass packaging this is gorgeous okay so wow this is actually really nice i'm actually in love with this to be honest this is very nice as you can see here we have the red and black digimon x uh this is very interesting because i'll be able to show you guys uh the japanese one the japanese one that i bought is exactly the red and black one so that's pretty cool we have War Greymon X up here, and we have Beelzemon X on here. These two Digimon are exclusively on this color. There's also a purple color with a red X on it. It has the same Digimon on it because it's the same internals, just a different color. Uh, and I do have those coming in through Amazon. I think I bought the uh, blue, which is like a seafoam blue kind of thing, um, and the purple version of the red one. I got those on Amazon. So right here, don't be fooled by that. You can't raise two Digimon at the same time on here. You can raise three, but like the other two are like in backup. So they're not doing it, you're not doing it simultaneously. And again, we'll get into that. 
back of it is actually really nice too. Back of it we have the 20th up here and the Digimon S showing you that these are compatible with the 20th. These are also compatible with a lot of uh, older devices. We'll do a compatibility video in the, in the near future, so keep an eye out for that. Train three Digimon at the same time, so it shows like an Amimon X. I think that is, I think that's Metal Tyrannomon X. I, I'm not mistaken, a Tobukatmon. Uh, and then it's the new battle system. We have the cut-in system, a couple other stuff. Uh, there's a new quest mode, which is really, really fun. This device feels a lot more like a video game than a V-Pet. Uh, I said that in the interview, and it is true. It really does feel uh, like, a, like a video game. It's really cool. And yeah, so we got the American Digimon logo. We have the X for the Digimon X. Digimon on the side here. We have a little lock up here. I don't think the uh, 20th had the lock up there like that. And it's also uh, telling you to go on Digimon.net for some more information. I haven't been on there. I wonder if they changed it at all. And uh, yeah, this is uh, super sick. So yeah, thank you so much, Bandai. <laughs> and this is my favorite color too. Um, red and black is what I bought for the Japanese one as well because <clears throat> Red and black is actually one of my favorite color combinations. It's a color I used to wear a lot back in the day. Um, and so that's why I'm really uh, happy about getting this one. And uh, I'll be able to play it fully in English. So that's gonna be also really cool. So we're gonna look at this and we're gonna turn it on, all that good stuff. I'll give you guys a quick rundown of how this device works. I'll be showing it off with the Japanese version as well. So you guys can see the differences. There's not really that much. This thing just has English on it. There is one thing under the hood that's different with this that they did fix from the Japanese version. We'll get into that too once we hop into there. So let's jump over to the other camera. We'll open this up. We'll check it out. Again, thank you Bandai so much. I really do appreciate it. And thank you for watching this right now. You guys watching, supporting the channel, helping it grow. That's what uh, gives me these kind of opportunities to be able to get these things a little earlier and show them off for you guys. I am really happy about that. Now, some people did get these earlier than me because they got it from Enter Entertainment Earth. They shipped a lot sooner. The Amazon one should be shipping out sometime as of recording this, I think in August. Uh, it is now mid-July as I'm recording this. So keep that in mind if you're like waiting for yours, you don't know where yours is, what type, what's going on, what's happening. Amazon has their own kind of timetable for like releasing this stuff. Entertainment Earth, they ship theirs out early. And like I said, this is one directly from Bandai to your boy. So I'm really happy about that. So let's jump into that, okay? Whoa! All right, let's, uh, let's show some stuff off before we show that off, just real quick. I wanted to show off something real quick. Jess got me these adorable things. I think she's supposed to, these were supposed to get to me uh, on Christmas and they got here now. Uh, so we have this adorable Pikachu dressed up as uh, Lopmon. He is missing the two horns, that's fine. Uh, and then we have Pikachu dressed up as Terriermon. Pikachu dressed up as Terriermon. Adorbs. And then last and simply not least, and this one actually came in a proper box. We have another Pikachu, but he's dressed up as another Digimon, and it's Ipmon. How cute is that? I love it. It looks so smug, too. Uh, these are resin cast figures. They're really adorable. They came from this website. I've never heard of this website before, personally. QA Studio? QA? I don't really know. It's a uh, Chinese, if I'm not mistaken. QA Studio, if you go on their website, they have like statues and stuff like this. They're really nice, uh, really nice quality. It's really, really good, really accurate. And the figures feel really good. They don't smell cheap or anything. You know, like cheap toys, they kind of have this like gross smell. These don't have that, they're really cute. And I just wanted to show those off before we get into the big stuff. So here is the Digimon Ekusu. Again, this is the red version. This is slightly different though. So here's the, oh shoot, whoa, there's three whole, hold on, there's like three whole instruction manuals in here. I'm assuming these are all in different languages. So we have English, I think Spanish and French. <laughs> no, sadly, no manga. The manga did not come with this. If you want to see the manga though, let them know. And they, uh, Cisco did say in the interview that if enough people ask for it, they'll upload like a, a PDF version on their website. I think that'd be really cool. I'd love to see a fully translated version of the, the manga that is associated with this. There's a lot of lore in the V-Pets, if you didn't know. Uh, so uh, 
you know, I, I hope that they do kind of give us that little sprinkle because I do like the lore when it comes to the V-Pets. They're, they're really nice. So this is pretty much everything you need to know about the device. It's actually a really well done manual. I think this is actually done better than the previous one, honestly. The previous one being the, the, the 20th, that manual was a little confusing. It wasn't really, just give you like the bare minimum. This I think gives you a bit more in-depth detail of how to use this thing. Cause this thing is a bit more, it's a bit more involved. You can see like the meat only fills you up half a heart. You got protein, you got hunk of meat, high protein, HP ROM, AP chips. There's a PW boards, seven switch and jumper gate. That's what they're calling the, the items this time around. And the device itself is packaged a bit differently. Again, there's this little kind of thing. And oh, they put the, I like when they put the sticker directly on the plastic, because I like keeping these, they're cute. Again, it's Tokemon X and Agumon X. So every Digimon you've seen here, uh, nine times out of 10 is either the ant X antibody form or a natural carrier of the X antibody. So this, uh, follows the whole X antibody saga. If you're unaware of in Digimon, long story short, Yggdrasil, the god of the digital world, just said there's too many Digimon. So he made a virus to kill most of them and told the world knights to handle the rest. After a while, he made a new digital world and some Digimon from the old world came into the new world and they had something called the X antibody uh, because the X virus was the one that was killing everyone. So, this device takes place in the old digital world that was left behind, which is really interesting. So if you see the background, uh, it is all messed up. It's got like a destroyed city, and there's some burned trees, and this uh, this is actually a reference to an older device. I can't remember which version had the background, but you can. There's a direct comparison out there where this background but like not messed up is in one of the devices i can't remember which one i think it might be one of the pendulums or it's one of the original v pets but they have a background very similar to this where the trees are filled out and the the building's not broken in the background so i really thought that was cool about this device so let's uh let's start it up <clears throat> digimon x first of all you know me i'm like the screen guy i like talking about the screens this screen is amazing it has amazing I can look at it like dead on. The other Digimon X, the original one, was super duper dark. Can't give you guys a direct comparison because I actually swapped the screen out of my Japanese Digimon X with a Digimon with the, with the 20th screen. So first of all, this is the new, you can tell, look how new this is. Uh, the American one, this is the Japanese one that I have. It's a little messed up. I will say you can see the background a lot better. This one's background is kind of hard to see. This one's a bit easier to see. You can see what's going on there. Um, but as you can see, this X, it's not gonna, it doesn't hold up very well. Um, it's coming off on this end where you can see like this is perfectly on there and the white is showing through. It looks like I think they did a first coat of white and then the red. The black is also a lot darker on this one. Look at the comparison here. Again, Japanese on the left side, English on the right side. Uh, a lot different different uh, kind of legal guff on the back uh, this is 2019 this says 20 oh, this doesn't even have any uh, date on it huh because where this had a date uh but yeah this says 2019 on it this does not have any date apparently and like i said this is definitely a lot like darker of a black i actually really like this it's a lot more striking and the plastic feels pretty good too it's kind of a bit more feels a bit more dense which i like a bit more nice and the the texture kind of feels this feels more textured than the japanese version i don't know if because this, this is old and that texture might have worn down from use because i have had this for a while this is like my favorite device so i use it a lot but this this has a really nice texture to it so we're starting it up we'll get to this later so we'll set the time we'll make it make it 10 a.m why not damn this screen is nice that the egg looks a little bit different on this i don't know if that's just a redone spray or what but that looks a bit different but it looks nice this screen is really really nice i am i don't know why i'm saying it but i'm jealous i guess i i'm jealous because whoever is 
getting their first experience with the DMX with this device, it's gonna have a way better time than with this one. Like I said, this device, I swapped the screen out. It was so dark. The original DMX, I'm gonna try to see if I can find old footage from when I first got my DMX. I might, I might have some good footage of me showing off how dark the screen was. Ooh. So it says Digimon X. God, this screen is dark as hell. What in the, f what in God's name? The screen was, screen was very dark. I had to mess with so many camera settings to be able to even remotely get it to look like good. It was ridiculous. So I actually swapped that screen out with my 20th and my yellow 20th that I still have, um, that one has the, the original Digimon X screen and it's it, even that one is now like super dark as well. So this is a really, really nice screen. And there we go, Zai start. So we're gonna roll the die every morning, you roll the die. Six is the best, one is the worst. I think the daily roll will, I think what the daily roll does is it influences who you're going to get as far as random items and encounters. If you roll a seven, there's a higher chance of you getting the random encounter. And when you beat the random encounter Digimon, there's there's two, there's one that gives you a lot of XP and there's another one that actually unlocks a Digimon on here for you. Oh yeah, well look at that, it's in English. So let's see, it's, it's gonna be, it's Puttymon. Putmon or Putomon is usually is a Japanese. And that's really, honestly, if you wanna know the difference between the Japanese and the English one, that right there, that is literally it. The Japanese one, all of the stats are in English and the Japanese one. All this stuff, that's all in English on the Japanese one. And all this is also, and oh, actually, I think record is actually pro properly record, not recode, because I think on the Japanese one, it's, it's a recode. We'll check that. And we can't go to the battle menu yet, because he's, just got he's, he's he's just he's just a baby he's been born although you can fight at the baby two stage on this so here is the digimon x again this is with the swapped english screen from the 20th and it's still pretty dark for a good kind of a comparison we'll make it 10 o'clock on here as well we roll the zai or the die whatever you want to call it we got a three there nothing to really write home about so this is diaboromon x and as you can see it's in japanese whereas on this one it's in english uh, what is it? Still seven years and seven grams? I'm pretty sure. Yep, grams and year. DM and the weight. Yeah. Uh, hungry, strength, effort. And then the, you yeah, know, all that. Normal, excite, all that. And then, yeah. So this is recode, which I think is supposed to be a play on words. Because on every single, and this is actually record, like you proper... As you can see, hold on, go back to the the record on here. You can see I played with this a lot, a lot. This was my baby. I, I love this device. So I'm happy that I actually have a Diaboromon X on here. So there was this issue with the original Digimon X release where Diaboromon X on this device, I think Crusader Mon X and one more Digimon, I can't remember which one. They all had this weird glitch. It works the same way that Gandhi's works in Civilization V, if you know what I mean where like he is so broke that it like goes over and like in inverts itself or something like that. He's like super broke. Him and Crusader Mon X are like super duper broken on this device. They're like easily the strongest ones because they're like glitched out. That glitch was fixed on this version. So they're not as disgustingly broken on this version. I am interested in seeing how that goes. He was so, he really carried me, Diabora Mon X. So I'm wondering how strong he is actually supposed to be. So we're waiting here until he gets to the baby two form. Because when he has that baby two form, you can actually fight, which is usually usually not the case on most Digimon devices. Later ones started implementing it, but the original Pendulum and the original V Pet, you could not fight until you hit champion mode. Or on this one, you can fight in baby two, which is the next form. So this has a leveling system. When your baby level one is the max, which is why there's a star there. So different evolutions are based on a lot more parameters. We have evolution based off of how you treat them. So they're, you know, if they ever call out and you get a care mistake, that influences your evolution. Effort influences your evolution and level also influences your evolution. 
It's a very interesting system that they have here as far as evolution goes. And the coolest thing about this device too is the fact that pretty much every evolution branch is all connected. So you're not really stuck in an evolution branch. So like, let's say, you know, you get someone like Tobu Katmon and Tobu Katmon, you want to evolve that into a line that gets you to Diabarum on X. You might be able to kind of hop into it like a different evolution to get to Diabarum on X. It's kind of hard to explain. If you go to Humulus's website, the Digitama Hatchery, which I'm pretty sure most of you know about, but if you don't, definitely check out Humulus's website, the Digitama Hatchery. He has a really great guide on the DMX that'll tell you everything you need to know as far as how to unlock different Digimon and how to get those evolutions while you're playing with this. Personally, I like going blind my first couple runs, but I know a lot of people don't like doing that and that's completely fine. This device I already know about. I already raised it, so I'm not really too worried about going in blind. Is he pooping? All right, that's cool. So the way the backup system works is that you go to the book. You go to backup, and this, as you can see, it says empty A and empty B. Once I click one of those slots, it will hatch a new egg, and this Puttymon will go into storage. And if I go over here, I can show you because I have three other ones. So I go to backup, and... A is empty, but if you go to B, it's uh, it's Alphamon. Spoilers, Alphamon is on this device. He's super sick. And again, same process. You go to back up, and you click one of them, and you'll swap right to it. So I'll show you again. We will go and swap to change ES, and then he will go into zeros, turn into an SD card, and then boom, we swap right over, and we have Alphamon. How cool is that? So you can technically raise three at a time. It's just you can't raise them at the same time. That Diaboromon X I just put into storage, he's in storage. He's not aging. Uh, he doesn't require uh, any care at the moment. He can't die in storage. He's just, like I said, in storage. Over here, um, if you go to the light and go to off, what happens is it actually fridges him, puts him in a fridge, and this is a pause function. Yes, this device has a proper pause function, which is really good. I know a lot of you are pretty busy, and this is going to be a lifesaver. So when you pause it, he does not age. At least I don't think he does. He might age, but either way, he does not, like, none of the, like, he is paused. This is a pause. He's not going to get hungry. He can't die like this. That's just how it's going to be. You turn it on and then it resumes. So you can't like pause it like that and still like pass time for evolution. When it's paused, it's paused. It's not counting time towards evolution. It's not going to get hungry and the strength isn't gonna drop either, which is really cool. And that's really the basics of this device. So this is the device that if you can, as you can see, the, the Digimon X is taking after. The red and black color scheme is very evocative of the, uh, the Pendulum Z, so or the Pendulum X, sorry. So the Pendulum X is what started the whole X antibody era in Digimon. Uh, and this is what I was telling you about earlier. You know, <clears throat> that, oh, wow, he evolved. Tokomon, Tokomon X. Tokomon X is freaking adorable. I love Tokomon X. He actually has a pretty significant, uh, he has, he's pretty significant to the plot of the X antibody uh, movie. As you can see, this roll roll, very similar to this, uh, and that will kind of influence a lot of stuff. This makes it a lot less BS. Uh, it's pretty uh, pretty bullshit in this version. Uh, you can completely get screwed over by the Zai. On this one, it's a bit more fair. Uh, and like I said, this one started also the three-prong devices. This one has, as you see, the classic two prongs. Um, oops, turned them on. That's Doru Goromon. Not now. Uh, and that's why uh, I think they picked red and black for this one, just to kind of evoke the uh, classic pendulum. At, at Pendulum X vibes. So let's talk about the quest mode. Let's talk about battling just real quick. So once you get to Baby 2, which is Tokemon X on this device. Let's see it. Tokemon X. Awesome. So what we can do now is we can train to get her effort up, but we can also level up. So training, there's normal and excite training. Whatever you roll as your Zai for the day, will determine how far like how fast the uh this needle is going to go the higher the number the slower it goes 
and you want that needle to hit one of these peaks. Different Digimon types have different kind of peaks. Um, and so if we get the excellent, as you can see, we get a little cut in, he does a mega hit which is really cool. I love that part about this device. So you get a nice little look at your little Digimon and I think that's great. Uh, I think he might do it one more time, let's see. Oh no, so that's excellent. Got our big hit and he is a very happy boy. And when Tokemon X is happy, I am happy. So when you go into the quest mode, which is this cup, you're going to hit okay. We rolled a one, which is not good, but it's okay. Uh, so we start with area one and you keep going throughout the areas, uh, fighting new enemies, and it is, again, very much like a quest. Every time you beat a boss, you get an item. Wow, that is horrible. Cool thing about the quest mode, uh, just in case you know, you're in a rush, you want to grind real quick, you just press this B button and you'll skip right to hit the, if you won or lost, which is nice. Um, so if you, if you want to, you can watch the whole thing. If you don't want to, you don't, you don't have to. That's Harrismon from Digimon Re-Arise, the mobile game, which is pretty cool. Sadly, it's just Harrismon on this device, but I believe in the Digimon X2 or X3, we get his whole line, which is pretty cool. Um, and we lost that one, which is fine. I just want to show off the, the quest mode real quick. Every time you beat something, you'll get XP. So if you check over here again, we have four XP. Once we get enough XP, we'll level up, and as I said before, your level also influences who you're going to get as far as evolutions are concerned. If he gets injured, you can click this to heal him. Now that we have two Digimon on here, you can see the library, which shows all our Digimon that we have raised, and it tells you their name and what stage they're at. So that was stage one, this is stage two, baby one, baby two, or fresh and in training, depending on where you're from. And then we can go here. We can either fight an X or an other. So we're gonna fight an X. We'll go to Zai. We'll roll something good, hopefully. Okay. The timing seems a little different, or maybe I'm just maybe I just suck. As you can see, it's going a lot faster because we rolled a one and, and we missed. So the higher number you roll, the more likely you are to hit that peak and get that big mega hit. Here we go, and oh, okay, we missed it again, so I just suck. But as you can see, that peak is different on that one because he is a different type than Tokemon X. And here we go, we have the Japanese version fighting the American version. Yes, they do work and you can fight them. As you can see, he also has a way bigger health bar than I do. Leveling up increases your health, but also as you evolve, that also increases your health. And really not too surprising that Alphamon would kill Tokemon X. It actually goes against what happens in the movie, but that's okay. And and that's that's a nice little introduction, I think, to the, the Digimon X. I do have a playlist on my channel of me playing with the Japanese version of this device. Everything is pretty much identical except for the fact that this is now in English. And also, like I said, Diaboromon X and Crusader Mon X are not super broken on those. And uh, that's that's pretty much it. So I really hope you enjoyed this little look through of the DMX. I am going to do, like I said, a compatibility video um, and I'll just be carrying this around with me because I love this device and I'm very happy that now I now have one in English. Thanks again to Bandai for giving this to me. I really do appreciate that. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Again, thank you all for checking this out. Again, thanks to Bandai for giving me this opportunity and thanks to you guys. You guys also helped me get this opportunity. Um, if you guys weren't liking and commenting and, and watching my vids, then Bandai would have never found me and said, hey, let's send this guy some stuff. So yeah, that is really cool. Another one for the collection. Compatibility video coming out soon. Um, I'll probably try to do a tips and tricks video. But like I said, if you really want a nice look at kind of like a, a raw look at running the uh, original Digimon X, check out my playlist and, and where I played with the Digimon X um, when it first came out. So, yeah, that's uh, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for everything. <laughs> I just, uh, I don't know, it's hard to talk sometimes. This, this stuff still gets me like, I don't know, it's like hard to explain the, the feeling of like getting something uh, from, from Bandai after all these years of just like playing with Digimon and like, I don't know, it's just a weird feeling. Uh, and it's, it's it feels really good. So thank you again. 
uh, Bandai. I've said it like five times now, but it is true. And again, thank you. If you're watching this video, even if you're new, thank you. All right, I'm gonna go take care of yourselves, all that good stuff, drink your water. I will see you next week. Sorry for the late video. I had a feeling this was gonna come sooner than later, and it finally did, so. Peace.